You know, in the time we're living in now, everyone knows at least one person who's had a major loss due to the coronavirus. In just the last month, we've lost 129 people. And among them was well-known Brownfield farmer Tony Lee Dill, a beloved father, grandfather, and mentor to many across the South Plains. And over the weekend, dozens of his friends and fellow farmers there in Brownfield came together to help his family and to make sure his final harvest and hard work did not go to waste. It means the world. It really does. Taking to their trucks and their tractors, nearly 80 farmers stripped cotton field after cotton field. A final harvest for their fallen friend, Tony Lee Dill. A fitting tribute for a man who never hesitated to lend a helping hand. He's one of those individuals that you could always look to in a time of need. Um, even if you didn't think you needed help, he was there. He just was probably the greatest man I've ever known. In late October, Dill got COVID-19 and days later was in the ICU. After fighting for two weeks, he passed away devastating the loved ones he left behind. We knew, we knew God could heal him and bring him home, and that's, that was what we wanted, um, but that wasn't God's plan. His stunned family faced with harvesting these nearly 1,200 acres of cotton on their own. His friends stepping in to save his livelihood and make sure his last crop didn't go to waste. I don't think you can put it into to words what it means to our family. And I think it's a real tribute to the kind of man he was and what he stood for. And a great example for my kid. These farmers saying they were just returning the favor for what Dill did for them time and time again. You know, this kind of thing is, is a whole lot less about what we're doing to help the family and, and what the family's done to, to help us. The old saying goes, love thy neighbor as thyself. And this community seems to have done just that. Dill's family saying an uncommon compassion is a common virtue in West Texas. It doesn't matter, you know, what's going on in the world. People love you and God loves you. And um, there's no better place to live than West Texas because this is just absolutely amazing that so many people care um, and have shown up to, you know, help get this out. 